Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's show, we are going to learn to use more memory aboard the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Let's get started. One situation you may have encountered is that when you're running a program, it stops. Or you're running a program from the command line and it appears to crash, but it gets killed instead. Here's a little program that all it does is allocate memory. So it got killed. The first time you see it, you believe that the screen is frozen. In fact, what it's doing is looking for something to kill. The out of memory killer is a process that the Linux kernel employs when the system is critically low on memory. This situation occurs because the Linux kernel has over allocated its memory. Fortunately for us, there's a way around that. We can allocate what is called a swap file. And what this allows the Linux kernel to do is to use both the physical memory and the swap file as page to memory. So it appears to be much more memory than is actually physically available. So let's add a swap file. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named install swap file. Let's grab that address. Then we will clone it. And then we'll switch over to that repository's directory. There's a couple of parameters we can set with our swap file. We can set the directory name, which is where we want to place the swap file. For example, we might want to put it on a USB SSD drive. It defaults to slash mount. We can also set the size of the swap file. So here's kind of the deal. Ubuntu recommends that we use six gigabytes if we are using the hibernation feature with four gigabytes of physical RAM and two otherwise. And then we have enable swap on boot. So that's a good idea. It'd be nice to have our swap file available when we boot up, else it kind of gets confused. So let's run it just with the defaults. And we can see that it created a swap file here. So we have swap zero bytes of six gigabytes. And you'll want to make reboot it to make sure it actually did stick. The file that determines that is slash etc slash fstab here. So let's run our memory tester again. So as you can see, you kind of go into dog mode. It just kind of slows down, but it doesn't freeze up and it doesn't crash. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.